As Andrew Morris here with Drew Fit, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make magnesium bicarbonate. Now, why do we want to take magnesium bicarbonate? Well, it's pretty simple, guys. It is the fourth most abundant mineral in the body. And in today's day and age, it has been said that over 90% of the population is deficient in magnesium. And that's because, guys, it is depleted in our soils. So if it's depleted in our soils, we're obviously not getting it in our diet. So the best way to increase your magnesium levels is going to be supplementing it. But you can't just take any supplement of magnesium and expect your magnesium levels to rise. You have to do the specific form of magnesium, which is magnesium bicarbonate. Now what happens if you have a magnesium deficiency? Well, actually there's a lot of things that could go wrong, whether it be mental issues or physical issues. Mental issues, you could be suffering from anxiety, depression, mood disorders, or you could have physical symptoms like cardiovascular issues, maybe diabetes, or calcification buildup inside the body, weak joints, lack of energy. Really, a whole host of issues can happen when we are magnesium deficient. So that's why I am so passionate about this, guys, and I want to share with you the most simple way to make your own magnesium bicarbonate, and it is very inexpensive to do this, and it's very essential, guys. The fourth most abundant mineral in the body, responsible for over 300 enzymatic reactions within the body. So yeah, guys, it's pretty important, and we need this mineral. So now you're probably wondering, how do you make magnesium bicarbonate? Well, you can buy it if you have a lot of money. I would highly recommend purchasing the product from Pristine Hydro. It is electrolyte balance, um, and it's actually a magnesium bicarbonate with silica, and they also added in there calcium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, and potassium bicarbonate, which are also very essential electrolytes for the body. And you can make your own mixture. You can add those things to the mixture I'm going to teach you. But today, I'm just going to teach you how to make magnesium bicarbonate. So the ingredient list is very short, guys, and that's why I'm so excited to share this with you because anybody can do this. Now, the number one ingredient that you're going to need is a form of carbonated water. I don't recommend distilled carbonated water just because of the acidic content in there, it won't break down and utilize the magnesium as good as other waters. Probably the best is going to be reverse osmosis turned carbonated water using a soda stream. You can use seltzer water that you can pick up at Walmart or your local grocery store. That's what I have right here, one liter of seltzer water. And the number two product you're going to need is a form of magnesium hydroxide. And you can do this in two forms. A lot of people have videos on doing milk of magnesia. If you do go this route, I want to be very clear that you do not purchase a milk of magnesia that has things like aluminum in it or sodium hypochlorite. All you want in the milk of magnesia is magnesium hydroxide and purified water. So be very careful if you do go that route. If you go the other route, you can use magnesium hydroxide in powder form. This is from Bulk Supplements on Amazon. I got it for about $15, so very inexpensive. It, can, it will last a very long time. So those are the only ingredients that you need, guys. Very simple. Now to the how-to part. So what you want to do with your carbonated water is you want to make sure that it is going to be cold carbonated water. Reason being, guys, it helps break down and utilize the magnesium a whole lot better than if it's at room temperature. Number two thing you're going to want to do Make sure you get your dosaging right of the magnesium hydroxide before you pull your water out and open the lid. Reason being, you'll lose a lot of carbonation that way, and you want this to be as fast and efficient as possible. So get your dosaging right. For one liter of seltzer water, I use about one teaspoon of the magnesium hydroxide. So in general, I'd have both of those things sitting down ready to go. And when I pull the water out of the fridge, this is the part where you need to be very fast and precise. So what you do, you pull it out, you unscrew the lid, you put your one teaspoon of magnesium hydroxide in here, but you do it very carefully and slowly because if you add it too fast, it's going to fizz up and spill out. So pour it slowly but efficiently, and when you get it all in there, tighten the lid back up and immediately shake it for about 30 seconds. Now this begins the process of making magnesium bicarbonate. The carbonated water is starting to transform the magnesium hydroxide into magnesium bicarbonate. And then when you shake it for 30 seconds, place it back into the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Now after that 30 minutes is up, you go and check on it and it should have suctioned inwards. That means that the chemical reaction did take place and it turned the magnesium hydroxide into magnesium bicarbonate. Now what you do at the 30 minute mark, you pull it 
out of the fridge, you unscrew the lid to get air back in there, then you put the lid back on, and then you shake it for another 30 seconds, and place it back into the fridge for another 30 minutes. Now two to three rounds of that should be enough to get your magnesium bicarbonate. And after that, I like to let it sit overnight before consuming it, if I'm doing it later on in the day. If you're doing it in the morning, just wait until the evening. But I also want to advise, after you do the first two to three shakes in here and 30 minutes in the fridge, I would personally advise you to put it into a glass bottle. You want this in plastic in the least amount of time as you can, simply because it will begin to leach the plastics into your water, which is not a good thing. And that, guys, is the simple way to make magnesium bicarbonate. Now for the dosaging of it. And this is going to vary based on every individual. Some of us need more, some of us don't need as much, and you can really figure this out by starting with a kind of high dosage, I'd say two to three ounces, two to three times per day. And if you notice you have a flushing effect on your digestive system, you can kind of back off. And if your digestive system still isn't working as well, maybe you can add a little bit more. And like I said, guys, this is going to depend on a lot of factors, your stress levels, your age, your diet that you're consuming. So really a lot of things play into this. Me personally, I only do about one to two ounces two times a day and that works great for me. Another thing people like to do is get one to two ounces and put it in your drinking water. If you're somebody that drinks from a gallon jar, I would recommend doing reverse osmosis and putting about two to three ounces of magnesium bicarbonate in there and sipping on it throughout the day. But me personally, I like to just take a couple shots of it a few times a day. And that, guys, is how you make magnesium bicarbonate. I might take you to the kitchen next time if you guys would like to see that so I can really show you the process and how to do it. So I hope this helps, guys. If you have any questions about magnesium bicarbonate, please drop them below. And please do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.